my amazing family how you doing hope you're doing great today <laughs> my background i hope you're not <laughs> you're not feeling disturbed about what you're seeing this is uh, insecticide okay because here in, <laughs> in nigeria for those that know we have a whole lot of mosquitoes but now it is reducing bit by bit why because of this you know preventions here and there so hope you're doing great thank you for joining me today if this is your first time of being here you're welcome so we deal on motherhood we deal on lifestyle we are into yes we do floors just like this one i'm doing right now so today i'm going to be taking you through some few minutes of our vlog today and today's video i don't know what i'll title it but just watch along with us and if you've not subscribed subscribe hit on that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we have new content and also i want to prepare it's like a vlog like i said so i want to prepare um vegetable soup it's quite long guy yes it's quite long i ate vegetable soup so we are going to prepare that now and also my hair net <laughs> i already gone out maybe you'll be thinking i've not had my bath i've taken my bath i took my kids to school already and but you know quite home i i just like feeling relaxed and with this air net, I have braids already on. With this air net, I don't even want anything that will be dangling at my back like this. And the weather is also hot. We are already in sunny season. So just watch along with me. Let me not just start blabbing along the video. And hope you enjoy that. So I'll be preparing a um, vegetable soup. In my vegetable soup, like the one that I usually eat from, you know, like for those of us that are from part of this, yes, the western part of Nigeria, or there are some that are from different parts of Africa, yes. They take their vegetable soup and I don't know how to prepare it, but here, when I go to these outlets, like this restaurant, okay, um, and they have goat meats prepared with the vegetables, if I love it so much, so this is just, it's just the idea of what restaurant foods look like or vegetable soups look like, that's what I want to prepare, um, right now and that's how i wanted to test so this is goat meat and you can imagine like how much this goes just guess how much this goat meat costs this amount of goat meat i just say let me just repair this today if not i wouldn't have even purchased it you can imagine this one costs so much this is five thousand naira for just this this one you're saying this length of goat meat so this is how it looks like in nigeria right now everything is just quite costly so let me show you some other items i'll be adding in my vegetable soup this is my um, water leaf for those that don't it's already uh, cut like uh, we've already uh, sliced it they slice it in the mag it's not like difficult for me to do at home though. i'm not feeling lazy to do that but i just want it to be quick fix so they slide it they help me to slice this everything is just so expensive right now in nigeria for those that are just like less privileged than those that are. In fact, that's why I have to let me just show my face. Why I'm saying something here in this video. I said, let me just show my face. I Let me just pass a message. Because here in this channel, um, there are a whole lot of things that, you know, we really want to, you know, imbibe in people. Um, because I believe this YouTube, okay, is just what God really has instilled like a gift to you. There are some they know how to advise. There are some they have different purposes why they open their channel. Sometimes we open our channel because we want money, okay? There's nobody that wants, uh, like, open a business that will not um, want gain from that business or profit from it. But a time will come when you just look at the society. So what I'm driving to into is just because when I was showing this what I live and the things I bought from the market, that is just so exorbitant. And I'm not imagining for those that are less privileged, like what I mean by less privileged, those that can't afford to eat three times square meals. Those that can't afford, like for instance right now, um, I'm craving for vegetable soup and everything that I need to prepare that vegetables, like the way that I'll feel satisfied, okay? I've gone to the market to get them. Why? Because by God's grace, I can afford. Please, let me just pass this message for people listening if you have the opportunity to be of help to people don't look at it we know that in nigeria right now not only in nigeria we know that there are a lot of bad things there are a lot of bad people there are some that are diabolic there are some that we've heard a whole lot of evil things that people do when you give them money some of them evil people like what i mean these rituals or these people that are into this diabolical thing they'll come and um, i've heard that story i don't know if you have They'll come and ask, take those money from the beggars that you give money to and you go and use it for that purposes. I don't know about that. But please, we know there are a whole lot of bad things that are going on around the world. Not only in, in Nigeria or in Africa. Please, if you have a source or a way to assist people that are less privileged, can go to motherless home. 
there was a time I visited, my younger brother was preparing, um, was um, um, celebrating his birthday, so he just asked us to go give some food items to motherless home. So that is what I mean by that. We know that really we, we always complain that things are expensive, you don't even have enough to eat, don't talk about giving people, but please, that one you have. Try, I, I just use the opportunity to want to share this message because when I got to the market, the money I used, like, I already have already budgeted that I'm going to spend. I don't want it to be above that. But because when I got there, I found out that things are expensive. The thing now went ahead of, like, was now much more than what I anticipated. So please, if you see the way things are happening right now, the way things are so costly, please try as much, as much as you can. I know it's not easy to be of help to people. I was walking along the road and I saw a woman, I don't know if she's, and normal but I, when i spoke with her she's just normal i was just crossing the road i saw her holding her baby the baby is just let me say less than a year under the sun in the gutters that they just sat down there asking people you know it's everybody that gives because of the way things are i just looked at them i said god i took the money that i have i gave i said take care of this child so that one i've done is left for them and what they want to use the money for so this is what i mean by that please as i was just sharing this i said oh, i said this video today i don't know what's going to be titled but anything you see they just take it so this is just a message I'm because that is what we do here in the channel and that is every gift that god has given to you be of help be of assistance to people i only preach about that here so let me not just continue saying all this but i think this message will go across to some people that will understand what I mean. Things are so expensive. So let me just show you that things I got. And let's just kick on and start. Right. We'll continue talking. So this is the water leaf. This is um, um dry fish. For those that know, it's called Oporoko. Oporoko in Ibo. From, uh, because I'm from Ibo. This is called Oporoko. This piece of Oporoko, and the way you see me tied like this in this monilo, is 1,000 Naira. For those that know Nigerian currency, you just understand that Nigeria... Currency no more have value. See this one thousand because there's a test that this uh, dry fish or uroko, as, as it's been called locally from my place, there's a test it gives to um, vegetable soup. That's why I just okay. You see now, I love the scent. Let me not just do this. So this is also dry fish. I want to use onion I bought. This is crayfish. See, mm -hmm. this is hundred naira. I have to grind this. <laughs> So this one is uh, Ozza. It's called Ozza in my place. We use to cook vegetables. So you, lie, you will love it. So this is Ugo. Um, pumpkin leaf. Already sliced there. So this is a... Uh, um, how do I say it? Intestine, yes. Meat. Intestine. Meat. <laughs> intestine meat. Either from goat or from cow. So, but I love using it to prepare. So this is my tomatoes and peppers. So this, let's just get along with it, alright? So let me just... This is salt. Just no neutralize or whatever it's called. This is alkaline. No salt is alkaline in nature. So I will use it to wash the goat's meat. Because it's good. Especially right now that we have <laughs> this, uh, whatever, uh, hey, this disease here. Uh, we, we have, you no, know, this meat has passed into different stages. Especially with uh, from this stage, you go to local market here in Africa uh, because it's publicly displayed, okay? So when you get home, you wash properly. Start cooking. Okay, so that is just what I'm trying to do right now. Wash properly and lots of lots of plates I have here in my sink for wash. So I don't like having, I don't like having too much in the sink. So let me just take it off from this place so that it will be easier for me to. But it will be easier for me to place whatever I'm putting there on top of this sink. Whether it's my wash meat, whether it's my vegetable, so whatever I after I finish washing the baby, I can have enough space here on top of the sink. Okay, store to keep them. So let me just do off this plate and wash them all. Like the weather, it's just getting dark before you know to start raining. Whether I should call this rainy season or I should call it mid season for sunny, and sometimes just so confused. Sometimes everywhere will just be like it's about to rain as if it's just getting dark before you know 
the weather will change again and it will be sunny so i don't know what it's like <laughs> whether it's going to rain or not so let me just show you what i've done so far i've already like you were there you, you, were, watch, you were watching when i I was washing the goat meat, so I've washed the goat meat. The goat meat is already in the fire, so I'm going to boil it a little. You know, goat meat is just, it's a kind of meat that is strong and takes time to, you know, to cook. So, intestine, like the intestines I bought, it's already in there, so I'm going to allow it to cook a bit, and I'll not add other meats that are not too strong, and allow them to cook all together. So, I'll be pounding now my scotch pepper. So, I know that some that like, ah, what is this one you are using to pound this? So found are you not supposed to use blender? Yes, this is Africa and this there's no light. Yes, for one there's no light. And you know sometimes when I use generators, it's, it always makes the my blending machine to spark. So just spark and I'll be like, ah, please so oh, it's better I use local so I'll, that's why I'm using this. So I'll be adding my salt. I'll be adding salt, like I want to add salt. And there's some that know the reason why we are adding salt. Why there are some you don't like adding for me i heard that there is a mic like that that says that if you if you are pounding pepper in mortar like this eh, from an african country and then uh, you add salt even if i thought that pepper splashes in your eyes because as you are pounding you should be mindful of your eye or by mistakenly if it just happened that the pepper now splashes into your eyes and you're not going to feel the, the the pepper like you're not going to feel the pain so much because there is already salt inside i don't know how true that is but on, to be on the safer side, let me just add pepper and uh, salt. Sorry, so let me just add salt uh, so that I will just okay avoid myself of that. Okay. So if you see some people pounding and adding a uh, mortar and adding a uh, salt, <coughs> oh my God! <laughs> sorry, going into my throat. So just know that this is the reason why, and I'm sure that should be the true reason why they add um, salt into mortar or while you're pounding your, your pepper especially uh, fresh pepper mm -hmm. this scotch pepper especially this scotch pepper you know it splashes and it has a watery substance um, as you can see so that's why so i'll be pounding it and i'll also be using it to to grind my tomatoes mm -hmm. I don't want the tomatoes to be too grounded, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm just the one pound that I'm going to. So I will show you the later result, then I will show you the next thing that I'm doing. One of my tomatoes to be squashed. I just want to squash it a little. I will now fry it and not add other items into the vegetable soup. I'm already imagining how this vegetable soup will taste. <laughs> if you need some, just pass your plate. Eh? I'm going to ship it down to you <laughs> when I finished. So just watch along. So I'm just scratching it a little. If I don't want it to be, to be so like blended completely. I don't I don't want it to be smooth completely. Just to squash it. Squash. Squash it a bit. Hello, my aunties and my big boys out there, my sweet sis. In fact, a few seconds to cook. I'm so glad <laughs> that I made this happen. So, I know that I wasn't able to follow up because I'm holding my camera at the same time and doing all these things like cutting and washing and just to make sure this all gives a good taste. So, I did not just, you know, teach you or maybe to clarify you how i got to this instant so i just put in my vegetable now <coughs> not quite long sorry so what i did was just that i just had to put oil red oil red oil is what i used to fry the tomatoes the pepper and everything that i got it together that you saw before so i got it that i kept so allow the the red oil to to stay a bit like to bleach a little, that's what we call it, to bleach a little just to allow the oil to sit, the red oil to sit in the in the pot, just like the way you use your granite oil, you want to fry the um, tomatoes or your, your tomato paste, so that was how I did it, so I, when the red oil now bleached a little, I now put the tomatoes that I grounded, the pepper and everything all together, but first of all, I, 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 uh, I sliced an onion. Um, I sliced onion here. I sliced onion. So first of all, after I finished, sorry, there's 
the slice of something I'm seeing in here from the vegetable. So I sliced the onion already, so I bleached the. I allowed the oil to sit a bit bleached. So I now put the sliced onion. After that, I removed my my because the the meat is already done. When I did all this, so I set it aside before using the same pot to fry all this. So when I did that, <coughs> sorry, add the tomato, allow the tomato to sit to cook a bit before I now add the meat on top, allow the meat to stay in within. Understand that part? In within the the cook stew, like the tomato and everything I put all together in the red oil. I like to stay, so I now put the meat inside as if you are frying and stew, or what we call it. You're making tomato paste. So allow the what we call the the meat to sit a little so the inside is too so before I now <coughs> I leave I left that to stay before I now added my vegetable so this is just the end result so I don't allow my vegetable to stay so much inside the, the fire or on the fire so that it's not be too cooked so this is the end result so I'm going to dish it up and you see what the face looks like wow you know I told you guys when I was covering this I said if there's anybody that needs vegetable so please endeavor to Reach out to me, I'm going to ship it down to wherever country that you are. Alright, so let me just allow it to stay in. Like I said, I don't allow my uh, vegetable to cook so much because this is just how I love my vegetable cook. So you don't even have me to add so much water, excuse me, so much water. You don't just add water because vegetable itself already has, um, excuse me, already has um, water particles inside. So it's just like the water from the vegetable, that's what you're using to cook. Mm -hmm. So you can see now, see, it's, I think the water inside is enough, just enough. Mm -hmm. So this is how I always usually see them making it in restaurants. So this are, so I'm going to let it sit just a few seconds, few seconds, and now put it down. Dish it out, then you see the ending results. The ending results of my vegetables, so you can see that the water from the, the water, and the meat stock is what I used. Yes, the meat stock is what I used, so I didn't have... Um, any water at all because I told you that um, vegetable already consists of it's made of water too so the water inside the vegetable is what just like I used in making cooking rather than the water okay so this is the ending result so I'm going to test it in your present <laughs> can see that I'm already sweating like I'm just sweating as if this people that makes food in the restaurant they really try like they try like they try a lot to stay in the fire just a few seconds like it's not for one hour I started making this I'm already sweating like Christmas goes, I usually call it. <laughs> so I'm going to test it now. Let's see how the ending result of our vegetables tastes like. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Tastes so good. So this is how I make a vegetable soup. Hope you love today's vlog. So I'm going to run it up here. Just like as if it's just a, what, what am I going to call it? I'm going to title this video when I started. I said I don't have any title yet, so I'm going to title this video making vegetable soup at the same time vlogging. All right, and you know, I, I also add I pass the message across while watching this. So, if you don't watch that part, please don't skip while you watch because you're going to benefit from that part. It's a message I left in between the videos. So, that is all about today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe, like, share. All right, to so invite my people in. Alright, so I love you. See you. Bye.